Sometimes when I look at certain people, it may be a friend, a stranger, random person, and I see them being themselves, I see them being authentic, I think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I don't think anybody can really argue with me on this point. And it's really simple. It's a really simple point. But I believe when you're doing something that's pure and simple, and it's really not a lot of equation in it. There's no, I'm doing this to look pretty. I'm not doing this. I'm not trying to do this. It's just, I'm just doing it. There's no trying it. I think it's so beautiful because it's really who that person is. I really think beauty has nothing to do with how much makeup you have on or how many people swipe right on your Tinder account or whatever you, whatever you call pretty or beauty is. I think it's truly when somebody's being their self. And if you really look at the most successful people in the world, truly successful, those people aren't successful because of their results. They're truly successful because they love who they are and what they're doing. And that's the episode for a whole nother day. I can get into that later. But in essence, everything they're doing is pure. Whatever they're giving out in their work, whatever they're doing every day, they're getting that same in return. Think of it as like a you have two portable chargers and you plug them up together and they're both getting fully charged by each other. I know that's probably scientifically not possible, but they're both charging each other. And every time it's charging that one, it's charging each other and it gets to 100%. That's how your life should be when it comes to what you do on a daily basis for the most part of your life. And that's beauty. I believe that's that, that's the purest thing you can ever do. And I, I actually think I have an equation for it. I think I'm a genius. On my on my little gravestone, wherever you call it, I, I can't think of the word of the word, but put this equation down there. And it's infinity equals zero. I believe your infinite potential, infinity, is reached when you're doing your most purest thing. I think the the purest work. Uh, I can't talk. The purest number in the world is zero. And you hit that infinite potential when you're doing something that's simple, something that's the most simplest thing in the world. You're just breathing. It's almost like breathing. So, for example, the bee in the flower. This, this is the best example I can ever give you. But when the bee goes to the flower every day, the bee goes to the flower to collect his nectar. It goes to collect his nectar. It's, it's not a job. That's just what the bee does. We all know that. I think we can all agree. But the bee goes to get his nectar. And when the bee gets his nectar, it goes back and it goes back to each flower. It goes to each flower, jumping around with the nectar. And while it's doing that, it's providing pollen to each one of the flowers. And now while it may make all the flowers beautiful, yes, it makes all the flowers beautiful by the bee doing it. And we need all the bees in the world, but it's doing what it loves. And so what I want y'all to see from this analogy is when you're doing what you love naturally, the bee's doing what he naturally does every single day, it's making beauty all around it without even knowing and that's what I mean when I see friends or strangers just being who they are. They're so beautiful because they're doing what they love. And when they do what they love, it just magically happens. It's not something they're trying to do. I want you to be like a bee every single day. I want you not to have to do something and expect something in return. Imagine if the bee was doing it, it wasn't getting any nectar in return. It was just doing what it loves, but it wasn't feeling happy. When you do what you love and you come back with what you got is happiness. The bee is getting nectar naturally. That's just what it does. When you do what you love, you're going to get that nectar naturally. And if you can decide to do that, your life will be so much better. While the the flowers will look beautiful, the flowers will look beautiful. That's not what it's about. And I have, a, I have another example. I, I like to use examples from my life to make this personable. But I was in another class, what was it, uh, last semester. And it was called Digital World. And I had a teacher. I probably wasn't paying attention that much. I, I wasn't. I was trying to get my grade. But the last day of class, the last day of class, it wasn't mandatory. She just said, I want y'all to come to class and I want to speak about something I'm passionate about. And at first I was like, I'm about to skip class because I don't have to go to class. But I was like, no, let me see what she's talking about. Maybe it'll be worth my while. But I'll be honest, I really wasn't getting anything out of it, what she was talking about, but I was motivated the most I've probably ever been after I heard what she was talking about. Because what she was talking about was the thing she was most passionate about. The amount of people that were there were only about three people. Only three people in class. And I was there and I was like, dang, nobody showed up for class. But what I saw was her being the most happy she's ever been in class, her talking the hardest, like the most passionate she ever has, probably her best lecture. And I realized it didn't matter how many people were in class. It didn't matter that only three people out of, what was it, like 35 people in class showed up to class. It didn't matter because she was in her element. She was doing what she loved. She was there. It didn't matter who was there. And I want y'all to understand, wow, beauty is simple. It is simple. But don't try to be beautiful. That, that's the whole point of it. And she wasn't trying to get the whole class to come to class. She just wanted to do what she loved. And I realized she was being so beautiful. Not, not in a weird way, but she was being so beautiful. And I want y'all to understand that if you can go into 
your life as that teacher and to do what you love regardless of only three kids coming to class or be the bee and get his nectar regardless if the flowers look beautiful. But also understand that is when you're most beautiful. If you can recognize that and try to implement that in your life, I promise you life will be so much simpler and it'll be so much simpler to look as beautiful as you can be. And I believe all of us have this beauty inside of us. I think it's infinite beauty. And if you can try to tap in with this, I promise you it is the best thing in the world. So the next thing, you've probably been thinking, Jamar, you're telling us all this cool stuff, but you're not telling us how to specifically do it. Um, I'm going to kind of give you some guidelines. Can't really tell you exactly how to do that for yourself, but I can give you a couple pointers I've learned along the way. So let's get into it. If you like what you saw or heard in the last video, please hit the like button for me and also go to our page and click the follow button. And while you're at the follow button, go to the bio and click the little link right there. It says the root of everything.com where you can access all of our full episodes on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts to access everything I'm trying to give to this world. And you can also hit the button. It says the weekly root for our weekly newsletter of everything root of everything.